Welcome guys to a Robin's Cruise Show. Today is the 1st of April 2021 and we've got some rather exciting news. So MSC has launched and has actually put on sale this morning MSC Virtuosa. She is going to be sailing from Southampton from the 20th of May 2021. So next month. It's brilliant. She's going to start off just doing four night sailings from Southampton and going to Portland and back. Now, starting on the 12th of June 2021, which is actually kind of in line with the lockdown release dates that Boris Johnson's going to be announcing. Although I know that the final, I mean, he's kind of said that everything will be more or less unlocked by the 27th of June. We hope. Anyway, so MSC have kind of looked at this and gone, well, let's do four night sailings until that point. After which we'll be able to then do seven night sailings, which is what they're going to be doing. Now, they're going to be sailing from Southampton to Portland, Liverpool, Greenock and Belfast. What's interesting though, is that they're also going to be using Greenock and Liverpool as embarkation ports. Not sure how that's going to work in Greenock because a ship that big can't actually dock. So Greenock is just outside of Edinburgh. Now, you can't dock there. It is a tender operation. So I'm not sure how that's going to work, but I'm sure they'll figure it out. But anyway. So interesting one as well is that MSC Virtuosa is actually going to be sailing from a brand new terminal in Southampton, which MSC and ABP Parking have built together. So that's going to be really cool. You're going to have the brand new ship sailing out of a brand new terminal. So MSC also, in their brilliantness, is finding a way to try and give back to all NHS workers who have, well, let's face facts here, worked their asses off over this pandemic. If you work in healthcare within the UK, you can get a 50% discount on any of these sailings. So from the 20th of May and onward with MSC, which I think is brilliant. Now, just to let you know that there will be a cap of a thousand people on board the ship until things get a little bit more relaxed in the UK. So on the shorter four night sailings, probably all the way up until probably mid-June, end of June, beginning of July, we will see a cap of just a thousand people on board the ship. Considering the Virtuosa herself, she can actually hold three and a half thousand. You're going to have more than enough room. I've actually been on board the sister ship to Virtuosa, the Bellissima. Now, having been on the ship, I can tell you that with a thousand people on board, it's not many. There's going to be plenty of space on board the ship to enjoy and relax. Now, interestingly with MSC, Obviously, we all know that they had the Grandiosa sailing in Italy and she started in August 2020. She sailed with over 40,000 people and they did not have one case of coronavirus on board. Now, from this point of view, we know that MSC know what they're doing when it comes to sailing. So they've actually said that unlike other cruise lines such as P&O Cunard and a few others who have said that you need to be totally vaccinated to sail, MSC are welcoming vaccinated and unvaccinated guests on board their ship. This is an April Fool's joke, by the way, guys. This is the truth. MSC are letting vaccinated and unvaccinated people on board. The only caveat is that you will need to make sure that you have a negative PCR test 72 hours before you board. Also at the port of Southampton, MSC, as they were doing in Italy, will carry out swab tests on everybody before you get on board the ship, just to double check. They will also have social distancing and it will be a staggered embarkation. So it will be that people are given a time to turn up to the port just to make sure there is enough space between everybody to keep it all smooth. So also interestingly as well is that when they do move to the seven night sailings, MSC are going to be operating a safe bubble. Now, you probably sat there thinking what on earth is a safe bubble or a social bubble, I should probably say, which is more what they term it to be. So what that is, is it means that anybody who is getting off the ship and doing a shore excursion with MSC, they're going to have to do a shore excursion with MSC. There's going to be no choice in this. If you want to go into a port of call, I mean, it's all UK ports, but still you are going to have to do an MSC shore excursion in order to get off. The reason behind that is that they will have COVID safe shore excursions, which will have been vetted ahead of time by MSC. They were doing this when they were in Italy and sailing in the Med. No one can deviate from this. As we saw last year, there was a family who thought they knew better and deviated and left the group and they were denied boarding upon returning to the ship because they broke the safe bubble. The same is going to be true on these sailings. 
Anyway, guys, it's brilliant news. We're getting a brand new MSC ship. How cool is that? Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here and say thank you very much for listening. Please remember to like my video and share the fact that I've got a channel. Also, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, also, if you want to leave a comment, please do. I'd love to know what you think about what I'm doing and if I'm doing things right or if I'm doing things wrong, if you want to hear more about certain topics. Um, I know it's been a bit cruise news heavy for the last couple of videos. I'm going to be deviating into something a bit different uh, for a video that I'm going to be releasing on Saturday. Not entirely sure what that's going to be yet, but it'll be something cruise related, but kind of more with like a travel agent spin. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for listening. Robin's Cruise Show, out.